Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories! <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. The Little Book of Pets Written by Zach Bush and Lori Friedman Illustrated by Sarah Van Ivera Raise your hand if you love animals! You're not alone! Lots of people love animals and have them as pets. There's so much to know about having a pet. Want to learn more? Just turn the page. There are some great reasons to have a pet. If you feel like having fun, you can play with your pet. If you're down or sad, a pet can help cheer you up and make you feel better. A pet can be your best friend. Having a pet is lots of fun, but it is also a big responsibility. You will need to feed your pet. You will need to walk your pet and clean up after your pet. You will need to make sure your pet has a clean, safe place to live and sleep. There are so many different kinds of pets. What pet would you choose? Rabbit? Frog, hamster, fish, dog, cat, snake, turtle, bird? Maybe you want a pet, but your parents don't want one. Or they say that it isn't a good time to get a pet. Sometimes that is the case. It might be hard, but be patient. Lots of people have to wait to get a pet until the timing is right. What if you really, really want a pet but your parents absolutely, positively say that you cannot have one? Don't worry! There are lots of ways to have fun with animals even if you don't have your own. You can have fun playing with your friend's pet. You can visit the animals at the zoo or on the farm. You can read books and learn about animals. You can paint a picture of animals. You can even volunteer at a pet store or an animal shelter. Whether you have your own pet or get to play with someone else's pet, there are some important rules you should follow when spending time with animals. Rule number one, be gentle with pets. Don't make fast, rough movements or pull on an animal's tail or ears. Don't scream at a pet or squeeze them. If you are gentle with pets, you will help them stay calm. Rule number two, be safe with pets. Playing with pets can be lots of fun, but it is important to be safe. Don't touch an animal you don't know without asking permission. Once you get permission, greet pets slowly and learn how and where to touch them. Rule number three, be respectful of pets. Pets need to feel safe and loved. Never interrupt a pet that is eating and never ever hit a pet even if they do something bad. If you get a pet, it is important to train them. You can have fun learning and working with an adult who knows how to teach and train a pet. You can even take your pet to special classes for pets. A few pet do's and don'ts. Do, prepare for your pet's arrival. Have fun choosing a name. Learn how to care for your pet. Be patient and gentle with your pet. Give your pet lots of love. Don't, feed your pet unhealthy treats. Give your pet food from the table. Punish your pet if he misbehaves. Scare or scream at your pet. 
interrupt your pet while he is eating. A good rule to remember, pets have feelings. Just like people, treat your pet how you would want to be treated. And have lots of fun with your pet. The more love you give a pet, the more your pet will love you back. Now you know so many good ways to take care of a pet. Congratulations! Here's your pet's badge. Just print it out and pin it on. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!